This is Linda Kim of Cord de Leon Canine Behavior Management and welcome back to our step-by-step -step training videos with Tate, a young Bichon Frise with some confidence issues. Tate is joined this week by Ollie, a young Bichon mix who could pass as Tate's alter ego. Ollie just recently joined us for residency training. Last week we were refining our correction for auto sit, practice healing under moderate distraction and introduce the sit stay command. My little video camera captured all of it, but technical problems prevented me from uploading it. I was able to save some of the video, so hopefully I can post it at a later date. In this first segment, Tate is practicing a nice heel, and his owner is more watchful for Tate's lack of attention. She corrects appropriately with an about turn, but she needs to speed up just a little bit. We follow up with a nice auto sit before we move on to working the stay command using the four D's of training, distraction, distance, duration and degree of difficulty. Tate manages to hold a nice slack leash stay while there is moderate activity behind him and around him. That object you see against the building is a mirror and offers an enhancement to distractions from any side. Her leash corrections are appropriate without being over the top or nagging. Tate clearly understands. Again, we finish up with another nice auto sit. Finally, we introduce the down command on a training table, showing different views to demonstrate correct leash handling and positioning of the left hand on the collar, left elbow over the back, and right arm laced under Tate's right leg and grasping his left. The movement is a gentle push-pull in a downwards motion that is neither forceful nor scary to the dog. Tate will practice this exercise many times before we ask him to down without help. I hope you enjoyed our video and that you join us next week for review of the stay at sit and down, the stand command, and the recall. This is Linda, Tate, and Ollie. Until next week, happy training.